Hey brewers, today we are checking out the brand new Mammoth Conical Stainless Steel Fermenter. We are no longer, at least for the foreseeable future, able to get SS Brewtech brew buckets. So this seems like a good alternative. Quite a bit cheaper. These are retailing for 250 bucks Canadian. So I think that's probably like 180 American. There are some features that I like more about this than the SS Brewtech one. And really only one feature I like less. So starting off, you have 30 liter capacity. The other neat thing is if you have kids or something, you could put locks or something like that on here to prevent them from taking this off and getting inside. I'm not sure if that's an issue for anybody, but hey, they put the holes there. Might as well use them if you need them. And I don't know if you can see here, but it, they have stamped every, uh, I think, five liters. Yeah, every five liters. I would have liked to have seen like maybe every two or something. But that's not bad. You'll be able to see roughly how much work you got in there. The legs are height adjustable, so you can make this higher or lower. There are two ball valves on here. So this is similar to the SS Brutech in placement. But then they have a dump valve on the bottom. So let's say you wanted to dump all your true. It is exactly in the middle of the ferment. So perfect location. You could dump all your tube out. You can bottle or keg from the, the spigot right here. Or if you dumped all your tube, you could also go from the bottom port. There is an included thermometer as well. That's pretty much it. Assembly is real easy. Pop the feet in, a couple of screws on each side, hold it in. That's what you use to adjust the height. To install the thermometer, it's just a lock nut on the inside. Same thing for the spigot. And then the dump valve comes pre-installed. I believe it's welded to the unit. Yeah, it's welded to the unit. So that's pretty cool. The only thing I found that I did not like is they put the airlock in the middle. I don't understand why. It should be over here. Now, why should it be over here? Let's say you wanted to stack two of these things together. That would be awesome. Let's say you have a tall fridge, want to stack two together. With this here, you can't, especially with the dump valve being in the middle, it's going to hit this airlock. I'm sure in a previous, uh, or sorry, in a, in a next version, they will move that over. I'm sure they're gonna get a lot of feedback from customers saying, hey, why the heck did you put that there? One thing you could do is instead of an airlock, you can just have a blow off tube if you wanted to stack them. Just keep the bung, put some tubing into, you know, uh, a jug filled with sanitizer. So either way, like for the money, this is pretty darn good but it gets better. Oh, what's in the box? In this box, I have a couple of accessories for it that are pretty cool. What's in the box? Literally. So first one, neoprene jacket. SS Brutech had something similar if you bought their FTSS package. So this will go over top of the fermenter. But why would you want to do that? They sell a lid with a chiller. All right, everyone, chill. So we take off this lid here. Now we got a nice chilling coil that'll go inside to cool our wort. Now what you would do is run uh, your cooling lines in and out of here. You could do this for pretty cheap. Get yourself a cooler, fill it with cold water and some frozen bottles. Get a pond pump, plug it into a temperature controller, and then you can have that turn the pump off and on depending on how you need it to cool it. The lid and the chilling coil together are 100 bucks, again, Canadian. Not too bad, the uh, jacket is 40. So 140 bucks would get you both, and then you'd have pretty darn good temperature control. I think it's a good value, especially if you're looking in the market for a stainless steel fermenter. You don't want to spend the four to five hundred dollars on some of the stuff the competition has. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave them down in the comments below. I try to reply to all of them. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more video content like this. Cheers.